guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Walker Ford, Clearwater, Florida, because we have a 2020 Ford Mustang GT CS. What does CS stand for? California Special. Let's talk a little bit about the Ford Mustang, though. Been around since 1964 and a half. Really changed the car industry. Ford was able to take advantage of those baby boomers as they were getting their driver's licenses and really give them something for a fun and something that was affordable uh, for them to enjoy. Now, with this California Special, it goes all the way back to 1968. Ford wanted to recognize all the dealerships in the state of California because of their incredible sales, more sales in California than any other state that they came up with this special edition. And fast forward to 2020, the great news is it retains a lot of the imagery of the California Special, the original one, but obviously with performance levels that that 1968 California Special wished that it had. Another thing I wanna focus on with this review is when it comes to muscle cars and having top-down fun, your choices are very, very, very limited. You could go the Mustang route or the Camaro route. What, which route is the better one for you? And is the California Special the one that you should pick up? So let's go ahead, dive into this iconic silver 2020 GT California Special. Right off the bat, the good news is you're gonna have a lot of the same Mustang uh, attributes that make it such a great car. Now, with the slight refresh a couple years ago, they retuned the headlight design, the whole housing. I like the gloss black. You still have that wonderful tri-bar setup, LED headlight design. You come down, exterior lighting, and then we're gonna have our first Zonk. We have a fake vent in the corner. Fun fact, they actually used Darth Vader's mask to uh, design this lower area of the front fascia. Now, as we come across the opening of the grill, this is the first thing that goes with the California Special. This grill with the Mustang Pony and Tri Bar offset is unique to the California Special. And I love the way it's gloss black, both top and bottom. This is your standard Mustang GT front lip spoiler. It would be nice, I think, to have a little bit more of an extension from the performance pack, but still very, very clean and has that classic pony look instead of the pony being in the center. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you have your functional heat extractors here. That's gonna help us take that hot air and drag it out through the top. Gives it that muscle car body line style that you desire when you're going for a Mustang. Now, when you come around the bend, here's some more uniqueness to the California Special. So you have the gloss black, little bit of machined uh, aluminum around the outer part and on each of the spokes, your standard four piston caliper. This is a uh, excuse me, 19 inch wheel, 255 on the width, 40 series on the sidewall, really pops well with the iconic silver. California Special, unique only. When we go into the fender, here is your GT California Special side stripe. All the way down, it kind of fades away. You have the same side sill extension, and then you're gonna have the addition, and this is something, you go back to 1968, use the Google side air scoops. Now, the scoop is fake, and I am gonna zonk that, but the good news is, where they put the actual fake portion of the vent, it's kind of sunken in. So from a distance, it doesn't look like it's a fake vent. And I think it helps give a little extra style to the side of a Mustang GT, especially the convertible. Now, you do have a clip-in tonneau cover, which is nice, but I really think that this should have more of a, a speedster look where this whole area is all that iconic silver. So that is a zonk for me, because on the Camaro, you don't have to worry about snapping anything in. This guy here is another zonk. We need to get rid of these antennas. It just kills the lines of the car when the top is down, especially. Now, when we get to the back, some more California special goodness. You have a pedal, pedestal style uh, rear spoiler. It's got the two on the outer and one in the center. Your specific California special badge. I love the script. The red pops with the gloss black. Of course, this is a GT, so you have your Mustang GT logo, the tri bar taillights, and the quad tip exhaust with that rear diffuser is super clean. Why don't we go ahead, pop the hood, and see what's powering this pony. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. Uh, I know I keep saying it. I really feel like a prop rod they should not have, but we'll hold the zonk for all those that are getting tired of me zonking the prop rod. But what you do have underneath the hood is a massive strut tower, uh, tower brace. I love the way they went with a California Special specific badge there. 
underneath this plastic cover, which I'm still gonna zonk, I don't care what anybody says, is that Coyote engine. That's that five liter V8 naturally aspirated, 460 horsepower, 420 pound-feet of torque. This one is mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission. It weighs, the convertible weighs around 4,620 pounds. Great news is you're gonna do zero to 60 in about 4.2 seconds. MPGs, 15 in the city, 25 on the highway. I really feel if that engine, like that, if that engine cover was smaller, you'd really be able to see that intake plenum a lot nicer. But while we go ahead, let's get to the best part of any Mustang. Let's fire it up and hear what it sounds like. guys here we are sitting in the california special rain rain go away right now it's sprinkling on us but we're going to keep on going i know you probably are saying wow i like this california special what are some of the goodies on the inside let's go to the door panel i like the way that they have that nice alcantara style material with the red contrast stitching really really makes it pop everything else is going to be straight up same mustang gt interior it's got that classic look and if you're wondering, well, Joe, I'm looking at this door panel. How much is this California Special? You're looking at an MSRP around $52,000. You have your two cow, your dual cow set up with the red stitching, like the California Special badge, the Mustang logo there. Three AC vents right in the center, real clean setup. You drop down, you're gonna have your upgraded sound system with the navigation, Apple CarPlay, that Sync 3 system is so easy to use. Really nice, the graphics are clear. You drop down, you have heated seats, which is great, and ventilated seats. Nice aluminum start-stop button. Your P51 Mustang fighter plane toggle switches, which have your different modes, steering feel, and all that other good stuff. A little place for some circus peanuts. 12 volt and a USB. Here is your Mustang specific key fob. I'm glad that they put the pony on there. That's a nice touch. We spin it around. 10 speed automatic transmission. I like the red stitching, especially the way they brought it here. I just wish they would have continued it on the center stack. So this is a Zonk here, but this is a big win. Two cup holders, good old fashioned e-brake, that nice red stitching, very soft. Open it up, you could put some uh, ho-hos and ding-dongs in there and a USB to charge whatever you need to charge and then seats specific to the Mustang GT California Special with that microfiber uh, suede insert. I like the nice soft, soft bolstering. You do have electric bottom, but manual back. Let's see the back seat area. Now the back seat area, it's actually not too bad. If I slide the seat forward, even a grown passenger, a grown adult, could feel pretty comfortable. And that is the great part about this is that you can enjoy top-down fun all the way around with four people. Let me show you how the top goes up. I'm gonna have Tom close the door. It's a really easy process. You're just gonna go ahead and hit this little toggle switch here. The top is going to fold up very quickly. The only zonk that I have for it is going to be this right here. You actually have a handle that you need to pull down and lock it in. A lot of other cars, if not all other convertibles, do not have a handle like that that you have to lock in. But why don't you come on over to the business end, I'll show you behind the wheel of this California Special. All right guys, business time behind the wheel of this Mustang GT California Special. You have the aluminum panel down here, lights up. There's that power assist on the bottom. You have three memory seat settings, which is a nice touch. And then you have your classic round Mustang steering wheel. You don't need a flat bottom. I'm not really digging the new style Pony. You do have the Pony button though, because this has the uh, different modes and whatnot that you can go into, which is really great. That also makes it a, a lot nicer to drive this car. You have the plastic paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down that 10 speed. And you have the 12 inch digital display. That thing is, a, a, is an absolute thing of beauty. Look as I go through the modes. So right now we're in normal, there's Sport Plus. The tack changes. If you're gonna go wanna get a little bit more aggressive, you have track set up with the tack across the top. You have line lock. You could adjust the, stiff, uh, the stiffness of the steering, the weight of the steering. Overall, a car that you could really fit to your specific needs. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out the trunk area and see does a convertible muscle car have room? All right guys, time to pop the trunk. This is where the Camaro gets beat, hands down. 
You can see the opening on a Camaro, much smaller, but the great news is even whether the top's up or down, you're still gonna get the same amount of room. And if you need a hard number, you're basically looking at 11.4 cubic feet of space. Really, like I said, compared to the Camaro, it's a no-brainer. The Mustang has more trunk space. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the best part. Let's take this Mustang GT California Special for a spin. All right, guys, we're in the 2020 Mustang GT California Special. Top-down fun in a muscle car. It's still possible to have, and you remember, it's very slim. Camaro or this, on the lap pedal, here we go. That 10-speed shifts very, very quickly. I love the way the 10 speed drops down nicely and obviously with the top down fun you're gonna get that great v8 growl from the coyote v8 such a wonderful engine redline 7500 rpm this is really what the california special was all about was having that top down fun which you know you can also get it in a coupe as well to show you just how easy the top is to go up we're going to put the top up now so you're just going to hit this button here the windows drop and it actually rises very very quickly now that the rain is starting to pick up a little bit and that was kind of nice to kind of show the best of both worlds you pull down on that handle and you flip it up like that and then you're good to go the one thing you always got to remember is to hit the back button behind the side windows to get those rear quarter windows up but you can probably hear me a lot better with the top up anyways but let's go ahead and get on that loud pedal again this is what makes a muscle car a muscle car but i'm telling you if you want all the goodness that comes in a mustang gt but like i said you just want a little something extra special styling wise check off that option box for the California Special. I think you're gonna be very happy, especially in this iconic silver with the uh, dark accents, especially the wheels and the stripe on the side, help give it that extra nice touch, um, which is gonna help you be a little bit different. Interior, I love the seats. I think the combination of the leather with the microfiber suede material is spot on. You have the nice large infotainment system, and pretty much probably one of the greatest things that Ford has come out with in the past couple years is that 12 inch LED display, crystal clear. And like I showed you earlier, when you go into the different modes, I like how it changes. It just really helps increase the overall driving experience. And I think we'd all agree that a Mustang is more than just an A to B transportation kind of car. You're, you're driving an icon, you're driving a legend and with this, GTCS, if you're gonna use acronyms, um, you really do have a lot of that nice touch and the performance to boot. All right guys, rolling away from the light, really smooth. The throttle has a nice sensitivity to it to where it's not too uh, much to where if you just tap it, then it's like full acceleration. But driving in the rain, it's, it's good to kind of show a little bit of a variety. Uh, and I know maybe some of you might be this might be the first real wheel drive car that you purchase, or maybe one that you've had in a while. You don't have to worry. You can enjoy this car even in rainy conditions. We got the top up. Wind noise right now at 62 miles an hour is actually not too shabby for a convertible. Um, there is extra bracing because of it being a convertible and not having that solid one piece structure. But you'd be surprised. You're not getting a lot of uh, shake a lot of rattle or a lot of roll. It, it really is a nice overall package. Paddles, I know I've said this before, it would be nice if they were a little bit larger and maybe they don't have to be metal, but something that just felt a little bit better when you're hitting the paddles going up and down the 10 speed automatic transmission. Visibility, it's actually really good, even with the top up and that's where if you're cross shopping this with the other muscle car convertible the camaro you're going to see that visibility in this thing is way better top up top down is about the same because you don't have a top on but you're going to have good visibility top up which is important for the days like today when it's raining i'm gonna go ahead and use the paddles and downshift through that 10 speed third gear really smooth good feedback from the front end 
second gear, little wet, so here we go. Really fast shifts, like that second and third, super smooth, and the sound of the V8. Now, one box that I would have added to the option list is the active exhaust, the Ford Performance active exhaust. Just gives it an even better growl. Plus, if you have neighbors that you want to remain friends with, you have that quiet mode uh, for those early morning drives. Or if you just want to piss everybody off, then you have the mode where you can make it even louder. So you have the best of both worlds. Well, let's just see how she handles. And we're going to go gingerly because of the wetter conditions, obviously. Not trying to break any records. But on the brakes, nice and smooth. Good feedback from those four piston calipers. Really nice underneath this overpass. Let it drift out. It's such a wonderful, flexible engine. There we go. That Coyote doing its thing. Wow. <laughs> Even in standard trim form, the Mustang GT is such a fun car to drive, exhilarating car to drive. And with the California special package, you're, you're getting that extra look too. Everything is status quo in here as it comes to Mustangs. And guess what? That's a good thing. Uh, controls, easy to get to. You got ventilated and heated seats. And these seats are great. They're actually very, very supportive, very comfortable. Are they as aggressive as Recaro's? No. And that's gonna be probably a good thing for a lot of people, but they still hold you in place very, very nicely. But back on throttle, here we go. Third gear, the revs build. Nice, look at those shifts. It, it has a nice positive hit to each one. It's almost like you're, you're, you're getting kicked by a horse in the back as you shift from gear to gear to gear but you like it, it's, it's not like a, how it hurts and you want to cry type of thing. You're actually enjoying that. But we're gonna go ahead, hoping this gives you a nice overall feel. We, we, once again, you asked for it, you want a convertible Mustang, we got it back here on Randy's Rise, thanks to Walker Ford. So we are gonna get back to where it all began in a split second. All right guys, it's been another muscle car kind of day here at Walker Ford. Definitely got to thank Frank Walker, Weston Walker, Tracy, Benji, Mark, Austin, the whole crew getting us access to this car while we're even in the rain, still filming. Is it the perfect Mustang? Is it the perfect convertible muscle car? I'm going to say right now, when you're looking between this and the Camaro, definitely the Mustang is the better way to go, especially with the California Special Package. If you like to have those little additions that separate you from the rest of the ponies in the stable. But if it's Mustangs like these that you want to keep seeing on Radies Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it out to Big Guns McGee, taking the raindrops like a champ. Thank you, Tom, for all your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.